close your eyes. Try to stay centered with the breath. Find one spot in the body that's your spot. We can feel the breath coming in, feel the breath going out, and tell whether it's comfortable or not. If it's not comfortable, you can change. Try different rhythms of breathing, or deeper or more shallow. See what feels good for the body right now, because the mind needs a home. One of our problems is we let it wander around all over the place like a little child. And even though we're adults, sometimes our mind is worse than a child, the trouble it gets itself into. So you need a good place for it to come back to. Otherwise, it's just going to keep wandering. It's like a home where there's no comfort, no love for the child. The child's just going to go as far away as he can or she can. It's going to be very hard to get him back. But the home is a good place to stay, and then the child wants to come back. Because after all, what is there in the world outside? There's gain, yes, but there's also loss. There's status, but there's also loss of status. There's praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. When you read that list, it sounds it's pretty meager, and it's, it is very meager. This is what the world has to offer. And it seems to dish out a lot of the negative side. We want the positive side, and we run after it, but by the time we get there, it's changed into something else. It's like those carrots they put in a stick in front of a donkey. The, carrot keep, the, monkey, the donkey keeps going for the carrot, but the carrot keeps moving away. Of course, you find that you've got carrots inside here. You don't need to go running around after things outside. So give yourself some carrots inside. Feed the mind well. And that way, wherever you travel through this world, you've got a place where you really are at home, no matter where you are. As I say, there you are. But it's not just there you are. You're also home, a sense, with a sense of well-being, with a sense of belonging. This is your space. And the rest of the world just goes through, goes by, but you maintain your space right here. Not the way the mind gains strength and also keeps itself from getting into a lot of trouble. make another comparison, it's like an animal. The most dangerous point in an animal's life is when it's looking for food. It's always very wary, very leery. It leaves its safe place of its home to go feeding. And it's the same with the mind. When we go feeding outside, we put ourselves in a lot of danger. So come on back in here. Stay right here. Then no matter where the body goes, you're right here. You've got your home. You've always got your safe place inside. <laughs>